One of the more subtle features in Black Square's upcoming Dukes for Microsoft Flight Simulator are the gyroscope simulations. While these were present in Black Square's TBM 850, they didn't take center stage because that aircraft has a more sophisticated electronic flight instrumentation system. However, in the Dukes, all of your primary flight instrumentation is powered by gyroscopes. In fact, there are four gyroscopes in this panel and one more located remotely. Generally speaking, there are two types of gyroscopes used in aviation, electric gyroscopes and pneumatic gyroscopes, powered either by positive instrument air pressure or negative vacuum suction. Both types of gyroscope are simulated with a coupled quadrature oscillator model, meaning that when you see a gyroscope spin up or down in this aircraft, it's not just an animation. It's a physical simulation of the gyroscope with many of its forces, such as precession and drift and the pendulous veins that keep it upright and oriented to the gravitational force. The two types of gyroscopes have their advantages and disadvantages. The electric gyroscope spins up quickly, but is vulnerable to electrical failure on board the aircraft. It also has an increased chance of failure due to the motor itself and the increased complexity of the system. It also spins down quickly due to greater friction. The pneumatic gyroscopes are simpler and have greater longevity and run whenever the engine is running. However, the vacuum pumps that power them are also notoriously unreliable. The suction or pressure generated by the pneumatic pump is also directly related to the shaft RPM of the engine, meaning that performance may degrade during a long low power descent or the gyroscope may not be fully spun up before an instrument takeoff. For this reason, some pilots recommend increasing engine RPM while waiting at the hold short line. Pneumatic gyroscopes will also begin to spin down after a single engine failure, possibly in instrument conditions when you need them the most. Beyond looking fun when they spin up, one of the primary features of a sophisticated gyroscopic simulation is to show how the face of the instrument looks when the gyroscope is running under speed. This can happen due to an electrical failure, low battery voltage, frigid cabin temperatures, or a pneumatic failure. Pneumatic pumps are particularly susceptible to partial failures where some of the rubber veins inside the pump body separate from the rotor, but there's still some air movement, sometimes just from the suction of the air moving around the airframe. All of these failures and more are possible in a black square aircraft. Most concerning to pilots in night or instrument conditions is how a gyroscopic failure usually presents itself. When the failure occurs, the gyroscope starts spinning down slowly, a process that can take upwards of 30 minutes for it to come to a complete stop. For much of this time, the pilot can continue blissfully unaware of the failure. It isn't until a pocket of turbulence or the pilot begins maneuvering for the destination airfield that the gyroscope begins to process or tumble, making for a very rude and disorienting awakening to the failure, especially in instrument or nighttime conditions. Lastly, even the sounds of the gyroscopes in this aircraft have been carefully managed. There are four different sounds for the four different types of gyroscopes. Lest you think the sound of five gyroscopes spinning around you at all times could become annoying, the volume is leveled with other ambient noise in the aircraft and kept quiet enough not to be irritating when you don't have to think about them. Yet, they become loud enough to alert a keen listener to impending failure from their sound alone. These gyroscopes are just some of the physics-based simulations that go all the way down to friction and stiction on the needles in the instruments of Black Square's Dukes for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Stay tuned for more technical videos on these aircraft and their systems. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.